share with you about your covenant of safety. This is our 10 10 parts of part 10 and session 2. Our covenant of safety. The issue of safety is not just an easy thing, particularly today. People are threatened everywhere. We are concerned about the security. I talked about that earlier. So because I don't have enough time, you can always go to YouTube and then we wrote and then listen to all those messages which you have shared because they are very vital for our survival. Now, on Sunday, I began to share with you about uh, enjoying the ministry and deleting enjoy the ministry. I shared about activating enjoy the ministry as part of the covenant of our safety. One of the problems which bothers us is why the covenant <coughs> does not seem to work. You hear of people who have been saved. Someone was killed. A girl who was very late, she was raped. Like a Tama, Tama, the daughter of David, or Diana, the daughter of Jacob. Or someone who, who was born in a road crash and died, a man of God. And so the issues that we're talking about as a regulated area, they are very controversial. Some people don't believe they work. But some truths in it will reveal to us some of the reasons why this covenant does not seem to work, to work for some people. And one of the things I say is, we shall know when we go to heaven whether that covenant is not work for so and so. But for now, <clears throat> I want us to preach what the Bible teaches. To teach what the Bible teaches, to, to the emphasize what the Bible emphasizes. And then, trust in God for a safety. One of the things which I fear to think about when I talk about the place of intercession. That some people can be given a role to pray for someone in the day, and that someone dies. You know, we can't understand that. We wonder where God was. But God is still on the road, but He gave some people some work to do. And we have a tear or a cause of fire. We have some heads of state who have been assassinated in the past. I think one of the United States of America, President, was assassinated. But there was security in place. But the people failed. Now, one of the things that God has put in place to ensure you are safe is what we call a joint ministry. Our Ugumaya Malaika. It's a name for help. I'm being an example where we can come to the 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 Where So, I began on Sunday, I don't want to review. You. you can always listen to it later on. Now, in the book of Psalms 91, Verse 10 to 12. Psalm 31, verse 10 to 12. The chapter which we have been studying on safety, uh, the psalmist says, There shall no evil before you. Take that to heart. That's what he promises. There shall no evil before you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. You can pray in place, play in Corona. Neither shall any corona or COVID 19 come near your way. Why? The next verse says this For he shall be his angels chant over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall be a be up in their ways. Let them dance thy foot against the stone. That's what I've taken my text of study for the temple. He shall be. For he shall be, for he shall be, his angels stand over you to keep you in all your ways. That's why you can see with confidence. There shall no evil before me, neither shall any pray come near my way. So we have angels on assignment regarding our sin. Praise the Lord. On the two accounts, what happens that some people are killed and do angels kill their work? Those are the issues I want to have today. How can angels fail? You can't believe that. You can't believe it. Now, let me use one verse 14. 
The Bible talks about Jesus and says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to them who shall be heirs of salvation? Angels are spirits, as you saw in the past session. They are invisible. But they are what? Their sentiment is to ensure that all is well with those who will be heirs of salvation. What a what a bomb, my work for uh who are what? Eh? What is it? What is the what? You see my what? Yeah, they are given that to ensure that it's well. Now the question is, how do you activate it? They are ministering for sin. Because some people don't enjoy this sin. How come? What happened to the angels? Have you ever heard about the guardian angel? Would you like to kill them? What do you mean by the world? 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 Have you ever heard about uh, a breach of safety? Where safety has been or security has been compromised? They read about someone who went to the state house. <laughs> but the crime in Aguta. I can put over. How come? How can a president be shot? There is a breach in security arrangement. Kuna Makosa in Mekokea? Why you mean? Yo, yo, what about the law now? What about the law? What has to do? Now, Genesis 24, verse 7. Abraham is sending his servant to look for oil for his son. And his servant has a problem. He has supposed they don't allow me to go with the lady. So, the servant has a problem. Because I will make sure you go get a wife from our relatives there, the, the, the relatives of the mother of my son. Then this servant wants to swear, before he swears, he has support. Suppose this lady or the people that used to give me the for my son. Now, Abraham tells him this. Chapter 24 of Genesis, verse 7, you shall read later on. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house, from the land of, kid, of my kindred, from the land of my kindred, and which spoke unto me, and I swear unto me, he shall send his angel before thee, that thou shalt take a wife and my son from there. So it seems out that he's talking about the God of his father, the God of heaven, the God that spoke to him, the God that swore to him, and then he says, he shall send is angel to go before you. So I make sure you take my, the wife of my son from the earth, from, from there. That's why the son of Abraham was able to put his hand between his eyes and his sword. It was not a small thing. Swear. When I grow up, he swore to him that he will carry out the assignment. See, he says, he will send. The God before my God, he will send his angel before you. And the mission will be successful. Jacob also, in the book of Genesis 48, verse 18 to 16, Jacob is blessing the two sons of Joseph, Ephraim and Manasseh. And so he says this. He blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk. The God who fed me all my life long and this day. The angel which redeemed me from all evil. Bless the lands. What am I saying? All those covenant fathers, they recognize the ministry of angels in their lives. So Jacob again, when he's next to the two sons of Joseph, he's invoking an angel. He said, The angel who redeemed me, who redeemed me from all evil. I want you to not have you this before. 
You must believe what God has said concerning you and then I give up rest. You think is your house to stop this from coming? <laughs> you can close the like, you know, segregated as well as a mess. They are those who are doors, heavy doors, electric fences. A man you come on. And that's that thing is very quick. The bomb was thrown and explosive. They then breathe the gates off and the wires. They end up. Those are those which are supposed to be with all the everything. I'm not saying you should not close, but I don't be saying. What is a good American pet to have come down? We have to move out to Chome. But I want to be. Pray for you. You know what? To strike much, none of the people are going to say, You said, You may have you may have bleed for my life and to be both roasted alive, come and match on. So, and this a play, play, and God opened the eyes of the young man, he saw chariots of fire, horses of fire, round about the Risha. Everything is out of God. In this covenant of safety, they are chariots of fire, horses of fire, surrounding your life, even though you cannot see it. You must believe their presence, even though you cannot see them. They are your invisible security. Someone was telling me about what is called invisible security. You are people guarding you and you don't know them. The moment you know them is when trouble strikes. If a, a trooper occurs to you there, that's when you be shocked. How about when we talk about where have they come from? And the fellows who wanted to kill you, they are buried there. And their bodies carried and pumped in a rich vehicle, and the few goes away. Where was this security? Invisible security. And that security is given to you. It is a ministry of angels. And I believe and fear in the young man could have brought uh, disaster to both of them, as I've just uh, mentioned earlier. Number two, some things I want you to be careful about. Their ministry begins at infancy and continues throughout life. The ministry of the angels begins the moment you are born. That's why the issue of dedication is very serious. Dedication is a very serious thing. Is that how we dedicated to God? The moment the child is dedicated to God, an angel is assigned to that child. Jesus said in Matthew 18 verse 10, Take heed, don't despise any of these people ones who believe in me. For I tell you, in heaven angels behold the face of my Father. They are looking at the face of the Father. Father, what are you saying concerning this child? Waiting for instructions. The ministry of angels begins when you are small and continues to end. That's why the number worshippers are very fast to take the children when they are born and dedicate to center. And your child is dedicated to center. It will not be easy. It will be hard. A child will be safe. So they observe you. They look at you, they wait on you, they watch you. That the fact about the angels should help you to be careful about your conduct. In the book of Ecclesiastes 5 verse 6, he says, Don't suffer your mouth to cause your flesh to see. Nor say before the angel it was an error or a mistake. Why should God be angry at your voice and destroy the work of your hands? Be careful, he's talking about the vows. I'll mention it later on. Vow and pay. Pledge and pay. Keep your promises. Don't say before the angel. Oi, I made a mistake when I was saying that. Someone tells you don't be foolish. Don't say before the angel because the angel is there with you when you're making the vow. Number three. You must guard the flow of thoughts or thought patterns 
in your mind and heart. Lazima ulinde yale mafikira yanakuja kwako na patterns, patterns. Dile zinakujanga kwa mafikira na kwa roho. You must judge. Because Mark Proverbs for Proverbs when he says, keep your heart with all the things. For out of it are the issues of life. Uchume loya. Uchume mafikira. Yale mambo unagusu. Yale mambo mawaso inakakwa mafikira kwa mefo which lead up in your mind. Also Mark 7 verse 13 it is the things that come out of the heart of man. These are the things which defy him. Why should you watch these things? Because the angels are so concerned. They are concerned with the holiness of God. Christopher W. Revelation talks about the angels saying, Holy, 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 holy. They are concerned about the holiness of God. No wonder, no wonder they No wonder the angels don't see to help some people as we have seen in our lives. Number four, you must be careful about the ones, about the ones of your mouth. Where we are friends in the Christian side of six, some of your mouth cause your face to see. Take care what comes out of your mouth. For seven of the same, a Christian side, it talks about for in the multitude of trees and in many ones, they are also diverse varieties, but fear not God. Stay and act 
We need the covenant. Please. I don't have details. You can see the example of Abraham's servant. Genesis 24. Verse 9 and verse 7. He swore. He swore to Abraham. And then, verse the 7, he talks about how Abraham made them swear as he pleased to be given uh, Rebecca to take to Isaac. Acts 16, 25, and 6. Paul tells us, I'm in which 
in the prison. Paul and Silas pray and Sam places anger at the prisoners' hand. Suddenly there was another king. Although the angel is not referred to there, I do believe it's the angel of the Lord who came down.
make bold declaration. I've seen the angels, they do his commandments. They what? They are hearkened at the commandments of God. They listen to the, they hearken to the voice of his word. So when you speak what God has said, when you open your mouth and say what God has said, you are actually releasing your angels to fight you. If you say the opposite of what the Bible says, ukisema kijima na pia mungu amesema, unaachiria malaika baya kukuja na kumaliza, kukuletea hiyo umeitisha. Let me wait to say something, you are made an umeitisha kutoka kuguni, au kutoka hair, kuletea hiyo, hiyo wana wamesema. That's why the kid news are three verse five and six. The last part of verse five says, for he has said, and the Lord, he says, uh, let us be without covetousness. Then he says, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's what he said. So that you may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will fear what man shall do unto me. What am I saying, church? God has made provision in this covenant of safety to ensure you are safe by provision of angels. Be with 
with us now and forevermore.